guys and welcome to today's vlogmas video. Today's video is going to be about what's on my Christmas list. I wanted to make this video um, not only to share with you guys what's on my list but also to help inspire some gift giving. If you know someone who is similar to me then perhaps this will help inspire you to see what kind of gifts that they may enjoy. And so these are just a few of the things that I sent my family as some gift ideas. I'm always someone who is happy to receive anything. I love when people don't stick to my list and get me things that they just think that I will like or things that they like, that they want to like spread the joy with. But these are just the things that I am asking for this year. So the first thing on my list is the Grande Lash Serum. I've used this serum many times before. I've used this serum in the past. I think I've bought it like three times and I put it on my list because I would love a replacement. I'm out of it at the moment, but I've been getting into the idea of using lash serums to help just grow my lashes out a little bit. The second thing that I put on my list was this indoor fountain. I've been wanting an indoor fountain for a while because I know the sound of it will bring me so much joy and peace and I just feel like it will elevate like my meditation and all of that. So so I saw this one on Amazon. I really like it. I liked that you could put candles in it as well. And so this is the one I'm asking for this year. The third thing on my list is white Converse. All of my white shoes right now are so dirty. Like it's actually embarrassing that I leave the house in them, but I have no shame, so I will do it. And so I just need a new pair of white shoes and I love Converse. I feel like these match everything, especially because I'm very much like an athleisure type of girly. So white Converse that I can just throw on with my fits, perfect. And so that is on my list. It's actually, I think the most expensive thing that I'm asking for this year. So if I don't get it, totally fine, but I do think I would end up buying it for myself because I do really want these shoes. The fourth thing on my list is this face mask ice pack. I'm very into skincare and I just feel like this would be such a great thing to incorporate in my self-care routine to help deal with inflammation and just to like soothe and calm my skin. The fifth thing on my list is this belt bag. I wear, I've had the same fanny pack for since like 2019, so three years now. And so I just feel like it would be good to have another one. Belt bags and fanny packs have just become like my holy grail purse. Like I don't use a regular purse and it's just so perfect. I throw it on, it's a hands-free way to keep everything attached to me. And so I thought that I would throw a new one onto my list this year, because like I said, I have been getting so much love out of the one I've been using now that it, it might be time just to like mix it up and add a new one into, into the mix. The sixth thing that I put on my list is a weighted sleeping mask. My coworkers were saying that this is a game changer and that it has helped them sleep so much. So I am willing to give it a try. I thought that would be a perfect, simple gift idea. I'm so interested to know what all the hype's about. The seventh thing on my list is this bed tray table. I realized that I eat so many of my meals in bed and I feel like some people think that's like psychotic behavior, but where I live right now in this apartment, we don't have like a conventional kitchen table, um, at least yet. We might be getting one literally any minute, but I still do so much in my bed. I edit in my bed. Like it just felt like having a bed table to help kind of like organize the chaos that happens there would be perfect for me. And so I decided to throw that on my Christmas list this year. The eighth thing on my list was inspired by Oprah. She put it on her like gift guide or whatever she did this year. And it is these like bracelet hair ties. I am one of those people that chronically has a hair tie on my wrist at all times. And you know, it's not the most aesthetic. It definitely has ruined pictures. And so I, when I saw that they make like ones that will look more fashionable, more like bracelets, like literally I could not think of a better thing for me. So I decided to throw that on my list this year because it's just so fun and it's so unique. And then the final thing on my Christmas list this year is this two-piece lounge set. I mentioned earlier, I am just like an athleisure lounge queen. That's all I wear. And so I thought that this one was super cute. I saw it recommended on TikTok. And so I decided to add it to my list. And so yeah, these are 
are the specific things I'm asking for this year. I am not someone who feels like I need to get what's on my Christmas list, but I know it can be so helpful to send out specific ideas to my family to help make Christmas a little bit easier on them. So we'll see what I get. Um, I guess you guys will find out at the end of Vlogmas if I get any of these things, but I felt like this was a solid, a solid Christmas list this year. And if you're struggling to know what to buy the ones you love, maybe this will help inspire some gift giving ideas. So thank you guys so much for watching watching this video. If it resonated with you, please subscribe, leave a comment, start some conversation, and I will see you guys in my next video.